understand no, is that no, we can't. No, we don't want to be done with no damn listen to. We don't want to have listening sessions. We don't want to have AA meetings. We want tangibles. We didn't told dog. We didn't told them we wanted tangibles. But we want to be listened to. No, we want reparations. We want money. We want tangibles. Can't talk to all black men the same. Right? You can't talk to black men uh, with just thinking it's all criminal justice reform because there are some of us uh -huh. who've never been in trouble with the law. You can't talk to all about economics. She's actually doing that. But what also has to happen is on her campaign, I would urge her camp, her top campaign officials, listen to Senator Alfonso Butler, listen to Cedric Richmond, listen to listen to uh, Congressman Stephen Horsford, listen to Congressman uh, Jim Clyburn. No, no. We're not listening to these boule bootlicks. That's not what we want to do. No. See, this is why y'all losing. Y'all putting up the boule bootlicks to get up here and lie. No, we don't want to be listened to and then y'all not do nothing. You better listen to what we say and then do what we say. We want tangibles. We told you exactly what we wanted. We're not out here playing games with people. Roland knows that. They, 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 they want to be, they, they be listened to. Be, be, no. no, we want you to break bread. We didn't told you what the deal is. We told you what we wanted. Y'all know what it is. We didn't have rallies all around the country. We've let them know exactly what we want. We are not playing games, ladies and gentlemen. And we told them what we want. They thought we were bluffing. And they're learning the hard way. They are learning the hard way, ladies and gentlemen. And that's fine. If y'all want to learn the hard way, that's fine. We're not playing games out here, ladies and gentlemen. Shout out to everybody in here. We are in here deep, ladies and gentlemen. Where is there's a new Jim Clyburn interview? Where is that Jim Clyburn interview? I want to find that. There's a new Jim Clyburn interview. I want to find that. Let me see if I can find that real quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Where he was splaining. Where James Clyburn was up here explaining. I want to find that real quick. If y'all can, um, Nikki the God, if you can find that new James Clyburn interview where he was explaining, it's a new one. If y'all can find that, Nikki the God, if you can find that, that'll be great. That'll be great if you can find that. But listen, family, we have told these people what the deal was. They thought we were joking around, they didn't know that we were going to stand on business. And they're learning the hard way. We weren't going to sit up here and play games with Kamala Harris. And them trying to use symbolic gestures to get us to support Kamala Harris, that has failed miserably. Them trying to shame us into supporting Kamala Harris, they have failed miserably. Now, the whole conversation is black men, black men, black men. Everybody's talking about black men now. Because we are so on code, they're trying to figure this thing out. Shout out to everybody in here. We're in here deep, 45K in here. Now, family, they've been trying to blacken up Kamala because they know that we are, black people, are the voting block of the Democrats. We are the base of the Democrats, but they want to play this game and prioritize everybody over us and not give us anything. And since they're going to do that, we're letting them go ahead and figure it out on their own. Now they're like, oh, no, 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 we got to have you. Well, if you got to have us, you got to break bread. So now they've been trying to blacken Kamala up so much. Her little clumsy black references are falling flat. All of that is falling flat. Family, have you seen the new Kamala campaign. They tried to get your booty to the polls. They tried the lowbrow route. That ain't working. We don't let them know how disgusting and patronizing that is. Them talking about twerking and we don't let them know. We, that's lowbrow for us. We're talking about our lives here. This ain't twerk hour. This ain't coochie popping time. We're letting them know that's not it right here. So now family, now they got a new ad with Kamala, got her running around with the black church folks. 
they're trying to go that route. This is so desperate, ladies and gentlemen. Family, look at this. This is desperation right here. They they just put this out today. This was this afternoon. Kamala tweeted this. This is their new ad campaign for Kamala, trying to blacken her up to swoo black voters. Look at this, family. Hold on. Let us agree that our faith requires action. It requires that we fight for what we know to be true and for what we know to be right. It is our faith that often guides us forward. Faith in the promise of our nation, freedom, liberty, and equality, not for some, but for all. Souls to the damn polls, ladies and gentlemen. They went from get your booty to the polls to souls to the polls. If you don't get the hell out of here, <laughs> not souls to the polls, get the hell out of here. <laughs> it should be Punjabi to the polls. <laughs> you go make a Punjabi to the polls video. Ain't no damn souls to the polls. Get the hell out. Why do we got 75,000 people in here? And we're almost, we're about to get 100,000 people in here tonight, family. This is ridiculous. All 75,000 people in here. Shout out to you guys. Souls to the polls? It should be Buryami, Buryani or the ballot. <laughs> That's what it should be. Buryani or the ballot. <laughs> The hell out of here, souls to the polls. Come on, we got 85,000. We about to get 100,000 live listeners in here tonight, family. We're on our way to 100,000 live listeners. Let's get to 100,000. Everybody retweet. We're at 85,000 live listeners. Everybody retweeting. Y'all need to be subscribing to this channel, all 85,000 of you. Y'all need to be subscribing to this channel, ladies and gentlemen. We are in here deep. Souls to the polls. I didn't heard it all. I didn't heard it damn all, ladies and gentlemen. Nikki the God, did you find that clip of Clyburn when they were interviewing him? I know we got a lot of people in here, and I hope my mods can handle all of these people. We got 85,000 people, live listeners, listening live right now, ladies and gentlemen. We are in this piece heavy. This is how desperate they are. Family, listen to what I'm saying to you. Listen to what I'm saying. They sat up here and played this game about black male voters. They've marginalized black male voters. They tried to minimize black male voters. They did this for the longest. Now, they're showing how important the black male voter is. And why are they admitting that the black male voter is very important? Why are they admitting this now? They're admitting this for about six good reasons. Why they're admitting this, family. I want y'all to follow me. All the new listeners, y'all need to tap into this. One thing, why they're admitting that the black male vote is very significant, because they understand the narrow margins in the swing states. Is that it? Hold on. Let me, wait, 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 wait. Let me, wait, wait. 